You may have all seen in several of my videos that some of the commands are prefixed with the word sudo. And many of you may have noticed that this is needed when you're doing things like updating your Raspberry Pi or many other tasks. So what's so special about sudo? What does it do and why do we need it? The Raspberry Pi runs an operating system called Linux. It was started in 1992 by a Finnish student called Linus Torvaldus who wanted to write his own version of the Unix operating system that ran on much larger systems than his PC he was using. Unix runs and still does on some very expensive machines as it does today. Because these machines are so expensive they were used by many people at the same time. These people usually work for large companies and wanted to keep their programs and information secret from other people who may be using the same machine. Similarly, the people running these machines and selling time on it to the users might want to make sure that users can't break the machine. Therefore, there was need for system security. There needed to be specific users of the system and there needed to be ways of controlling who could do what with it. This is why you are Pi user on your Raspberry Pi. Linux systems require you to actually be a specific person or user. Raspbian, the version of Linux you're using, creates this for you to make getting started easier. It's very good practice to run as a normal user as it very much limits the damage to the system and any other user can do. This is the main reason why Linux can be considered a reasonably secure operating system. However, when we want to perform potentially dangerous things like adding, removing software, we may need to have superpowers and this is why we have the super user and those, and those super users have those superpowers. When we want to use these superpowers, we need to be a super user, so we use the command sudo, which is short for super user do. So why do we need superpowers to flash an LED? That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. It's because when we want to use the GPIO pause, we need to use something very deep called low level control of the Pi. This is the sort of control that if used wrongly, can cause the Pi to crash. Fortunately, the Python GPIO library does all of the hard and dangerous work for us, and we don't need to worry about much of the details. However, our programs as a whole does need super user power to gain access to the GPIO and that's why we need to prefix our commands with sudo. And that is why we have the sudo command and that's why we need to use it for accessing the GPIO on our Raspberry Pi. If you like these videos and you want to follow more, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.